Actually, I do think uh, that McLuhan is, uh, has always been influential to me. I actually, as a student uh, uh, in the 1960s in college, I think I read the first printing of Marshall McLuhan's Understanding Media and uh, have since been working on trying to understand and interpret the book. And, and uh, I have actually taken some, uh, a lot of, uh, of inspiration from some of his ideas, particularly this notion that the medium is the message. Because um, in many respects, identification technologies can be looked at in that way. Now, I know there's, um, uh, there's the, the idea, his idea of the medium is the message, of course, is that uh, changes in the media are sometimes more important than looking at the content of what is conveyed over the media. And, uh, and there's probably no better illustration than changes in, uh, the struct in information and communication technologies. You can take simple examples, uh, the answering machine, the degree to which the answering machine or the uh, uh, allows people to, it changes uh, the way senders and receivers communicate with one another. And when you think of the answering machine and, and how it reconfigures access to people and, and the relative communicative power of the sender and receiver, before the answering machine, the, the caller had much more power with the answering machine, all of a sudden it undermines the power of the caller, gives more, shifts relatively more communicative power to the receiver of a call. And uh, because they can screen it or they can decide to answer it or they can decide to get back later, then you can see that that slight change in the, in the technology of communication is more important than any message conveyed or left on the answering machine or uh, what's particularly said, the medium has an effect irrespective of the content of that message. And I think uh, it's useful to look at any information and communication technology from that perspective. And I've often argued that essentially uh, the major social implication of, of computing, telecommunications, and the internet now, and, and identification technologies in particular, is to reconfigure access, to reconfigure access to information, to people, to services, and to technologies. And by reconfiguring access, what you know, who you know, what services you consume, what technologies you need, what know-how you need, 